Okay, welcome back everybody, Aesop Grimm here. And this is the continuation of our Stellaris Chronicle. This is the second Chronicle I've done. I'm going to record a couple back-to-back -back episodes here, I think. Or a back-to-back -back series of episodes, whatever. I don't know how to phrase that. <laughs> I tripped over the English language. Uh, we're in the year 2222. And countdown timer has begun, so let's unpause it and click up to speed two. Survey completed. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproven, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Unity. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid in the continued search of strange life forms. All right, good. Uh, I know that we're we're researching some projects. Complete. Oh, hit pause. Where did we run into trouble? Oh well, that's not real trouble. That ship has been decommissioned. It is a hunk of junk now. Okay. Oh wait, missing in action. No, we had a we had a legit. Somebody ran into a problem somewhere. I don't. I don't know where they were at though. All right. Well, anywho, the construction ship is ready to build mining stations, and then let's get jealous. I think is that what that's called. That looks like three L's. Oh, it's two L's. Okay. Jealous. Unpause. Oh, we were we're researching stump some stuff. Recon pass completed. I thought we were. Uh, there's that one. I don't see any. Oh, here we go. Special this one's being researched. Complete. All right, the boarding is successful. As our forces boarded the ship, they were greeted with a gruesome sight. There were bodies of multiple species, some of them even of our own. Although they plainly should have been dead, they were stumbling around and attempted to defend the ship. Man, zombies. It appears that they are still propelled by extensive neural implanting that kept them going even after death. Fighting all the way through, our boarding party made their way to the ship's bridge. Some data from the flight computers was still usable. It indicated that the ship's faster-than-light technology had experienced major problems similar to those we eliminated before we even left our home system. Tampering with ship's systems appears to have triggered some kind of self-destruction sequence causing the ship to vaporize moments after our boarding crew returned. Disturbing. Okay. Where is this science ship at? Science ship, you should research... Who is this? Dr. Ravelli. Research both of these projects. Transport fleet. You now have a grisly task at hand. I want you to come here and prepare to wipe out this threat. Oh wait, that's not them. Right here. Okay, well we will pre-position you. Well no, we'll actually go. Yeah, we got land right here. There we go, land armies. And we're going to play whack-a-mole with these poor saps who are in the atomic age. If there's a little bit of noise in the background, it's because my mic cord is brushing up against my my jacket. I'm going to try and do something to fix that. I have a, a, a hoodie on, a zip up. Yeah, I don't 
don't think that's going to help. There we go. Maybe that will. All right. Well, I apologize about that. I know it comes through and it's kind of annoy annoying. I think I've got a position now where it won't bother us anymore. We're looking at neg one here on our energy credits. So we're going to need help there. Here's our science ship. Dr. Yamashita, welcome back from the brink of death. That was scary. We almost lost you. Um, doctor, I want you to go and get this leg right here. Special project complete. Uh, Dr. Hamidi has finished their, her expedition on Zedron and uh, returned to the CNS Konsu. Sadly, the wrecked starships on the surface were too badly damaged to recover any useful tech. These vessels were clearly very advanced, however, and we could gain valuable engineering insights if we analyzed the way they were designed. We should consider the construction of a permanent science outpost in orbit. Okay, so we gave three engineering. And we have another science ship that is finished. Uh, that was her, right? Yeah, Dr. Hamidi. Okay, doctor, go ahead and come on home. Wait, do you have a shot? Maybe you have a shot here. You need to be quick about it, though. Science division report success. And I'm, I don't think I'm gonna... Well... Special project complete. Yeah, we'll try and get both of these, because I'm gonna... I'm wondering if they're gonna hold off on populating that, because they don't want the border friction. Just as we expected, the radiation spectrum of this star is very conductive to carbon-oxygen life similar to us. The zone of perfect conditions is wide. We should look for these stars in the future as they tend to have the highest potential for having colonizable planets, K-class stars. Okay. Oh, we have a uh, new tech. Oh, good. We've got the off-world trading company now. Trade across interstellar distances presents a new set of challenges to overcome. It is critical to achieve the transfer of goods from one system to another in a timely and, above all, cost-efficient manner. We will now take planetary unification. Ancient warring tribes, historical nations in conflict, now unified in empire. We must not and will not crumble. Special project complete. Submerged beneath the water, our science team uncovered the ruins of a self-contained ecosystem. Wow. It appears to have been produced entirely from spaceship components. Dr. Ravelli estimates that several hundred individuals lived here until it was struck by orbital bombardment. Most of the equipment was damaged by salt water, but our science team managed to recover fragmented navigational data, which should prove useful. Strangely, both munitions stored in the complex itself and intact projectiles recovered on site used similar designs. Okay, so it was probably the same species that were warring against. Yeah, civil war. Okay. Uh, the Karkororian Kar home system. With the data we collected, we can identify the presumed home system of the mysterious Karkororian. We should explore it to discover what happened to them and uncover their connection to our own species. Onward to answers. I haven't read this input in a long time, so I'm going to refresh myself here. We have traced the unusual electromagnetic radiation emanating from Rigobi to, to a secret subterranean bunker, hiding a mega computer the size of a battleship. Our researchers suspect that it may have been there for several thousand years, hard at work solving a single very complex problem, the nature of which still eludes us. 
When the crew attempted to interact with the computer, they discovered that the facility, which had appeared both abandoned and unguarded, was in fact operated by a security AI, the highest purpose of which seems to be frying its visitors alive. As the crew defeated the AI, it broadcasted a message to an unknown recipient. Okay. We can scrap it for parts, we can boost our own research for 120 months, or we can let it continue its mysterious calculations. I think we're going to boost it. I always take this option. One of these days, I should go ahead and go with this one, but not today. We are xenophobic. We saw that it broadcast a message. We are concerned. <laughs> and we will harness it for our own purposes. Twenty-two, twenty-three. Our construction ship is almost done and ready to move on to the system of Jealous. Uh, we're sitting at 675 alloys. Let's plus up Vigimar Station. Special project complete. With three platforms. It seems some unknown space pirate has hidden this data here in case they ever need a bargaining chip. It contains a set of coordinates that should lead us to a hidden treasure. We'll follow the map. Alright. This is a tropical world. Again, 10 tile. Hazardous weather. We've got a, project complete. a grip of small planets out here. Um, after further study and many under ice expeditions, the crew of the CNS Kansu have discovered a few fascinating things about the nautiloids. Firstly, they have biological processes which create incredibly tough materials for their shells, perfect for construction. However, this would require killing them to obtain the materials. This possibility is made unappealing by the fact the nautiloids also demonstrate basic levels of intelligence. Oh. Well, me. Personally, as an individual, that's a problem. For Commonwealth, I'm not so sure. <laughs> um, similar to most semi-sentient species. So, so like monkeys, maybe? Is that what's considered semi-sentient? In addition, when not keeping themselves afloat, they drop down into the depths quickly. Uh, dolphins, maybe, too. Dolphins are considered highly intelligent. I wonder if that's... I, I would like to know. IRL, what is considered semi-sentient. In addition, when not keeping themselves afloat, they drop down into the depths quickly, making harvesting the dead impossible. Uh, making harvesting the dead impossible, unless teams are present at the moment of death. This means that we will have to actively slaughter the creatures if we wish to recover their shells. Our biologists would be thrilled to study these creatures. Though it pains us, their loss is our pain. Or is our gain. Uh, I think we're going to have plenty of... I'm going to go for the science. And it's not because I'm being all heartfelt and stuff. Our, our people, they don't care about Xenos. This is a pragmatic decision. We want the science. Science is king in this game. And we got a lot of places to get minerals and resources, you know, energy credits from and stuff like that. So... Let's go with the uh, study. Study these creatures. Okay. You will now research the anomaly here. I'm going to roll the anomaly dice on found. that. And bet that the Yisravenar here are not going to take this system. I think they're going to park right there. Maybe they'll come up through this way. Special project complete. 
The vault is a tomb for hopeful immortals. Science officer, well, Dr. Ravelli asserts that the huge blocks of ternary code found in the databanks are neutral images, digitized brain scans. Doubtless the aliens of Hithara, the, uh, Hithara 1 considered this their only shot at any kind of survival, following whatever calamity befell their planet. They did not have the means to resurrect themselves, but banked on the impossibly small hope that eventually someone else would have those means. Well, we don't want to bring them back to life, but... Actually, I don't... If I roleplay this civilization correctly, I don't think we would even want to keep them for safekeeping. We would... They're a blight on the galaxy from our perspective. No, get rid of them. Research that project. Special project complete. We discovered a vault concealed on the surface of CNS Asperity. I'm sure that should have been like the planet name. Vast deposits of valuable items have been recovered by our specialists. We got 1,500 minerals out of that. All right. Uh, a 14 tile ocean world that's a little bit more respectable so this is a holy world this is a very small world this is a very small world and then we got a 14 tiler the mineral cluster is a holographic record multi-sided many edged and translucent it remains secure in the cns wanderers tractor beam but our experts will need some time to decode its contents a special project has been issued to expedite this process very well Crystal Codex. Um, you will now continue your survey mission. What are you doing? Okay, so what are you doing? Actually, I want you to research that project. And I want you... to grab the this triangle okay and you're surveying right now yes yes you are Construction oh man complete. I'm kind of excited to see if I can make it past the point that I did my first playthrough because that would show me that uh, the practice sessions I've had online like streaming where I was getting some help from people and they were teaching me how to play this game paid off and then of course my own experience i think this is one of those games that the more you play it the better you get at it it's it's a game that experience counts let's go uh, starbase at uh, meredith But, uh, project complete. As I say that, I'm a little bit nervous about this right here. We're already red on credits. The holographic data documents the terms and conditions for a trilateral trade treaty between three major alien powers that once dominated this quadrant of the galaxy. Context eludes us and the details are meaningless, but Dr. Bowden feels that this will... Uh, this find will prove invaluable to improving our own ability to communicate with alien forces. But we don't really care about that. All right. We're not trying. The only thing we're trying to communicate is peace through th superior firepower. Survey system. Oh, another planet. No, that's the 14 tiler. What's this one then? 18 tile. Okay. Nice. So this is an area we want to grab. We want to get at least up to here. Oh man, this is a problem. So maybe we could cut to here. That's what we would have to do. As a priority, we would have to go bam, 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 and then grab this one right here to cut them off. Okay, let's take the courier network.
And if I was lucky, if I was lucky, I could get to here. Well, there's another cut right here. Yeah, but I think it dead ends right there. It might not. I think I just would want, I would take this, leave this to them. Okay, so we, we know what we need to do with our construction ship next. Actually, you know what? We can just make another construction ship. Let's do that. Ute listening posts. We have discovered several massive, massive listening arrays on Bazkarat 2. These arrays are millions of years old, and we believe they were originally built by the Ute, though it appears at least one other alien civilization repurposed them at some point in the last 500,000 years for their own needs. The colossal receiving dishes are beyond repair, but some terminals are still intact. Okay. Research that project. Man, I really want to get her out of that system. Unity needs a generator district. Do we have the thing that improves? No. Improves generator output. We don't have that yet. We don't have that yet. Uh, I want to go ahead and put up an Autocaton monument, though, to help with Unity production. Hopefully it'll take from some farmers. We really need the, uh, I can always go in and reprioritize jobs, but we need as many of the generator jobs as we can get right now. Okay, here's our newest construction ship, which we will instruct to go and secure the Fancor system. This must be that home world, okay. Anomaly found. Research it. One, two, three, four, five. And then that's where we're going to stop. Wriggle. Wriggle is the goal. Come on, construction complete. ship. Okay, second construction ship will build these mining points and then go and uh, we're lacking the alloys. Weezen. How are we doing for edicts? Nothing. All right. Anomaly found. Yeah, again, I'm still having to get used to the slower pace. Uh, during my practice time, I've been playing at speed three, and it is quite the difference. Uh, let's research. Lost laboratory. We have found several interesting leads from the base, despite much of it being destroyed. In a part of the structure open to space, we have found a large repository of biological samples some of which have intense regenerative properties. Oh, that's interesting. From the fragmented archives we were able to, de to decipher, it appears the research base was intended to help combat a virulent plague affecting their species at least several hundred years ago. Given the state of the laboratory as we found it, it seems that initiative most probably failed. It seems that initiative most probably failed. <laughs> While, or whilst, the virus should not affect our biology in any way, Dr. Bowden has suggested placing a facility in orbit to access the samples and the original research and has quarantined all personnel who accessed the laboratory for a time. Okay. Precautions are... Science division reports a new breakthrough are uh, appropriate at this time. We just gained geothermal fr uh, fracking, which will help us in our mineral production. Now it is time. I don't care what we got up here, and both of these are good, but it is time for robotic workers. I'm waffling on this a little bit because this is going to be the second time I've passed this up. But yes, robotic workers is more important. If this is if this were CK3, robots is what Special our civilization would currently be fascinated with. Our archaeologists on Bazkarat 2 have learned that the listening arrays built there were used to scan space for any signs of intelligent alien life, something the Ute had never once encountered. After managing to partially restore power to a computer terminal, the archaeologists acquired a data disk with log files from the sensor array stretching over centuries. 
These logs suggest that this section of the galaxy was indeed devoid of sapient life at the time of the Ute Empire. Ground forces are dropping on target. Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, where are they at? These guys are so done. They're a molluscoid species on a desert planet. That don't make no sense. Well, who cares? That's a weird conflict that's about to get rectified. Armies. They're pretty resilient. Magnetic reversal. The magnetic field of Mintaka 2A experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the CNS torch. This rare event has interchanged the positions of the moon's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Solar extinguisher. Long dormant energy traces in subspace and breaching points near the star's corona suggest that Bern Bernie A's rapid aging was artificially induced. Oh, it appears that millions of years ago, an energy beam from a distant system was launched at the star using technology far beyond our current understanding. Wow, well, that's a good way to get rid of perceived enemies. You nuke their star. Whether it was a weapon or an exercise in cosmic scale civil engineering, the beam ripped through the star's core, upsetting fusion processes inside it, in an attempt to cause the star to go supernova and to take out the whole solar system. Fortunately, or perhaps unfortunately, it failed to fully achieve its destructive goal, but anyone present here in two billion years will be able to fully appreciate the effect. Oh my gosh. We should be able to trace the weapon's origin point. Okay. Well, science ship, you need to get out of dodge. So we're going to have you, what level are you? You're level four. Uh, I got a couple of level five projects. Here's a level three. Research this anomaly, followed by this anomaly, followed by this anomaly okay that'll keep you busy for a while anomaly found research it uh this is a close fight we've got the upper hand now anomaly found research it The final countdown. It's the final. Yeah, you guys know it. All right, the Xenos are no match for us. Our armies have successfully invaded and subdued the primitive forces on Azagamum 3. The locals have given up all attempts at fighting back, and we have now subsumed their civilization into our empire. Although, backwards as they are, it may take some time for the natives to become fully productive members of human society. The Xenos are no match for us. Well, they're not going to be productive members. They're going to be dead. We do not need you. We are researching robots. Population. Uh, set rights. Citizenship. Undesirables. And, uh, see, we don't eat them. Should we do forced labor? Sure, we'll get some production out of them. That's a horrible way to go. Uh, we could just purge them. But, uh, we're ruthless. We are ruthless. All right. And this transport fleet can return home. To, I guess it doesn't really have anywhere to go. We will bring you back to the Deneb system. As suspected, the asteroid holds within it a great mass of metal and does indeed hide some manner of machinery. The gathered data clearly shows that its constituent parts contain great quantities of stored energy, but its purpose remains unknown. And, uh, 
Dr. Bout unfortunately detected this early, old mining drones, was able to jam the drone sensors long enough to disable them. And the cores are old, but have vast amounts of energy for siphoning. All right, good. We need energy. Oh, there's our timer. So... Are there things that I can clear? Yes, there are. So I built a generator district and I'm still hurting in credits. That's This is uh, very unusual for me. It really is. So, uh... Oh, these are green because we could settle them with the people that were whacking. Yeah, well, I'm not going to do that. Advertising blimp. The Asperity reports that the mysterious objects found hovering above Bernie 2 is, in fact, a brightly illuminated platform suspended via anti-gravity and broadcasting what seems to be commercial information. Preliminary analysis suggests that the platform is over 2,000 years old. Whoever built it is probably long dead, but the message about their generous discount on Mooch Wazarxis, <coughs> pardon me, remains eternal. Okay. <laughs> wow. I totally had to clear my throat on that. My gosh. Okay. Again, I'm Aesop Grum. Thank you for coming by the channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode. And until then, stay shiny.